hill tribes feel that you know giving metes constitutional protection it would mean that metes would now be able to come into the hill areas encroach on their lands and you know sort of uh, rob them of their lands and to tribal communities across the northeast land is very very important so um, this is the reason hill tribes have been long uh, opposing this demand for the mete communities to get st status Violent clashes broke out at various places in Manipur during the course of a tribal solidarity march called on May 3rd by the All Tribal Students Union of Manipur. The march which was conducted on May 3rd was called to oppose the long-standing demand that the Meithi community be included in the list of the state's scheduled tribes. So, in light of recent events, Tora Agarwala of the Indian Express tells us why the ST reservation for Meithi is such a sore point and much more. So Manipur has been on the boil uh, for the last three days. Uh, there have there has been a lot of violence between the state's uh, majority Mete community and the Kuki tribe um, from uh, the hill districts in Chirachandpur all the way to the state capital Imphal. There is a trail of arson, vandalism, and even uh, loss of several lives. Um, at least 9000 people are currently in shelter camps um the army and the paramilitary forces were called in on wednesday night but the situation continued to spiral out of control uh it also uh, you know led to the government issuing shoot at sight orders uh it's i mean i don't think that has happened earlier before uh, apart from that uh, through uh, wednesday night and thursday uh, mobs have been running rampage in Imphal and uh, you know they've been attacking areas where the tribal people stay uh, churches have been torched uh, on the other hand in the hill districts in pockets where the mete community stays there have been attacks over there so uh, it's a complete um, uh, you know breakdown of law and order and just to give you an example of how bad the situation is yesterday um, one legislator who is uh, who belongs to the bjp uh, he is also the advisor to the chief minister uh, and he is belongs to the kuki tribe and he was returning home uh, after a meeting with the chief minister and he had like a whole uh, he had two security vehicles along with him but you know a mob stopped them and attacked him and his security personnel he is currently uh, in the hospital uh, battling for life so it just gives you a picture of you know the kind of situation uh, which has been prevailing in manipur in the last uh, two days now today is the third day it's slightly calmer but the tension still remain so um it's a it's a very layered issue but the uh, immediate trigger was uh, basically this protest rally the tribes of manipur had organized to um, to protest the demand of the mete community to be included in the schedule type tribes category uh, so this th there was a solidarity march uh, which was organized all over um, all in all the hill districts of manipur where the tribals live and uh, this particular march uh, sort of got violent on wednesday there was one clash in this area called bishnupur uh, which has a mixed population and following that clash uh, it after that there was arson and vandalism in that area but by evening it had spread to other parts of uh, the state including the capital imphal so uh, you'd have to understand this you'd have to go back to you know the way uh, manipur is sort of geographically distributed uh, so manipur is basically 
a valley surrounded by hills. Now, in the valley is where the Mete community lives. It's the majority community. And most of Manipur's population is concentrated in the valley. In the surrounding hills are where the tribals live. So there are uh, there are the Naga tribes in the north of the state and the Kukizomi tribes in the south of the state. Uh, this area, which is the larger area, is very, uh, you know, compared to the valley, it's very uh, sparsely populated. Um, for long, there has been a perception among the hill tribes that it is the majority Metes who wield the, you know, the social, uh, economic and political power. So the hill tribes have always felt that, you know, they have been left behind and they don't get as much, uh, you know, even development as the Mete community. Um, so uh, just to give you an example, the Manipur Assembly has 60 members, but uh, um, the hill tribe, the hill areas, the hill districts, uh, they send only uh, 20 out of those 60 MLAs. So there has been always this feeling of, uh, you know, that the Mites are more powerful than the uh, than the hill tribes. Um, uh, so now the hill tribes are uh, protected by a special article in the Constitution 371C, uh, which gives them, you know, special protection. So this means that nobody from the valley, the Metes, and, and nobody from outside can, you know, buy any property or settle in the hill area. So this is a special constitutional protection given to the hill areas. Um, the Metes, on the other hand, have long been feeling that, you know, they are under threat. Uh, because you know they uh, they are not allowed to sort of you know buy any areas or even go into the hill areas uh, for property or even reside there. So the Metes have long been demanding that they also get ST reservation. Uh, their argument is that you know they feel that as a community they are under the, under threat, and you know uh, for their preservation they need STs uh, status. Uh, but on the other hand, the hill tribes feel that, you know, giving Metes constitutional protection, it would mean that Metes would now be able to come into the hill areas, encroach on their lands and, you know, sort of uh, rob them of their lands. And to tribal communities across the Northeast land is very, very important. So um, this is the reason hill tribes have been long uh, opposing this demand for the Mete communities to get ST status. So uh, obviously the immediate trigger is this uh, particular rally which you know which had resulted in clashes between the um, between the Mete groups and the uh, Kuki groups. But uh, Actually, it, this unrest has been brewing for quite a while among the cookie groups. So the cookies, um, I mean, there are two main tribes uh, in the hill areas of uh, Manipur and the Nagas and the cookie Zomis in the south. Uh, now, uh, the, these cookie uh, hill districts border Myanmar and basically it is a porous border and, uh, you know, from uh, on both sides of the borders, the tribes, the Kukizomi tribes, even in Myanmar, they, you know, they share a deep ethnic bond. Um, so after the after the Myanmar coup, which happened in 2021, uh, because of all the persecution which the, uh, you know, which the tribes in uh, the Chins have faced in Myanmar, there has been a lot of, you know, um, a lot of refugees crossing over uh, to, you know, to the Chirachanpur hills in Manipur, like it has been happening in Mizoram too. But, you know, in Mizoram, um, the government has been, you know, pretty uh, vocal about sort of giving shelter to these refugees because they feel that, you know, these are their ethnic brothers and sisters. But in Manipur, it's not the case because the government has been really uh, been trying to sort of push back, uh, you know, any kind of what they call infiltration. So, um for quite a few months, actually, maybe even a year, the government, uh, the Manipur government, it's the BJP government led by uh, Chief Minister N. Biren Singh, they've been, uh, you know, uh, saying that there's a lot of illegal immigration into the cookie areas in Churachanpur. Uh, they 
have for quite a few months been uh, insinuating that there are a lot of foreigners, outsiders and illegal immigrants among the cookies in Churachanpur. Um, there is, uh, there have been several eviction drives uh, in areas in Churachanpur, uh, which the cookies believe to, their an believe to be their ancestral forest lands. Apart from the eviction drives, there have been church demolitions in the last few months. Uh, the Birin Singh government has also launched launched a massive crackdown on poppy cultivation. And this uh, poppy cultivation is something the cookie tribes uh, would subsist on. So uh, all these reasons, you know, the insinuation, insinuations that they are um, outsiders, uh, uh, the fact that there have been several eviction drives in their forest lands, um, the crackdown on poppy, all of these things have been angering the cookie community uh, over the last few months. So we saw trouble in March itself. Um, you know, there was violence in uh, Churachanpur district in March. Uh, then after that, in April, again, just last week, uh, Chief Minister Biren Singh was supposed to go uh, to Churachanpur to inaugurate um, some kind of a gym. But, you know, there was so much uh, resistance to his uh, visit that even then, then it, um, you know, it had turned violent and the chief minister had to cancel his visit. So all this thing, all these, you know, things have been uh, playing up for a while now. And finally, when the uh, when this ST demand, uh, uh, when the ST thing happened, uh, which was also given a boost by the Manipur High Court uh, a few weeks back after that it was like the last uh, straw for the cookie uh, tribals and you know ultimately everything culminated in violence on wednesday